much for the do, man. It's the new rhythm of image streaming. And I got a very special guest with us this morning. Goes by the name of Charles Claxton. The legend. Well saying, my brother. Everything's safe. Everything's safe. Welcome to the show, my brother. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. Thanks for having me. I appreciate the, um, the platform to get, get the word out on these um, things that are coming up. Now, before we get into what your son is doing, um, clearly you're wearing your Net Nets hat today. Uh, yeah, I got a little Nets in Georgia going on right here, a little mixture. Yeah, I see that. I see that. Um, yeah. Now, uh, you, you, had, you had a... A little run with the Celtics. Does does that make you a fan? Do you you like them for the finals? No. Ooh. So who you like? I'm a Miami Heat fan. Ah, yo, you know what? <laughs> I got I got friends and family working over there, so I'm with that. Yeah, I, I, um, you know, I went when we moved from St. Thomas. You know, we moved to uh, Miami. Uh huh. And I just stayed. I always stayed a Miami Heat fan. When they're not playing Brooklyn, I'm rooting for Miami. All right. Now, now, why is it when they're not playing Brooklyn? What what makes Brooklyn so special, sir? I got a I got a friend over there. Okay. I got a support. <laughs> so I, I, uh, I'm Brooklyn all the way. All right. I can't fault you for that, man. Of course, your son is Nicholas Claxton. Plays with the uh, Nets. Not just plays, but uh, integral part of the Nets team. And uh, had a great season this year. How how you feel about his performance this year? And work, work in progress. You know, he, he, he keeps working hard, getting better every year, adding some things um, in the off season. Um, you know, the sky still the sky's the limit. You know, still young, still hungry. So, you know, we we we're very proud of him. All right, and you got another son on the radar, correct? Yeah, uh, Chase. He plays at Winthrop. All right. He'll be down um, coming coming up June twenty fourth. He's gonna be playing an exhibition game. Nicholas. And we're playing an exhibition game. We're going to talk about that. Okay. So, all right. Now, what we're talking about exhibition games, uh, your sons are going to be uh, prominently displayed at home. Uh, how special is it for them to perform in the U.S. Virgin Islands? Uh, it's great. Nicholas, actually, was his idea. You know, he came down there. He was in and out for a little vacation. And uh, he said he wanted to play uh, live for the um, the people of the island. Yeah. You know, you know see him on TV, but he wanted to, you know, to play to give him, you know, a little taste of what he do in the NBA. And I, I, I said, okay, we'll, we'll make it happen. Coming back home, not just to play an exhibition game, but more importantly, in my estimation, uh, to give back and give some knowledge of the game to some young people in a basketball camp. Uh, how is, how important is that? And the details on that as well. Well, we, um, we tried to do this a couple of years ago, but COVID hit us. Right. Had to um, cancel it. Uh, it. It's very important. Uh, you know, Nicholas has strong ties to the Virgin Islands. Of course, you know he plays on the Virgin Islands national team. Yes, sir. And we we wanted to um, give back to the community uh, for the up and coming uh, players. So we decided to put on a free camp uh, that's going to be held on June 24th at Antilles. Okay. Uh, it's uh, from the fourth grade to the ninth grade. Okay. And we have ended it to the end of the week. Uh, if you can go on to uh, nclaxtonfoundation at gmail.com, and if you want to sign up, you can uh, sign up. Just send in your report card. Uh, and we uh, we plan on having a good time. We have uh, the director of uh, scouting for Brooklyn Nets, going to be the guest speaker, and also... Nicholas High School coach is going to be the guest speaker. Okay. Uh, good training. Um, Nicholas, trainer in high school, he's um, going to be in charge of the camp. So it's going to be fun time. We're going to feed the kids, a lot of giveaways, and just have a fun time, and you get to meet Nicholas Claxton. All right, now, is it, is it a day camp, a week camp? What kind of camp are we talking about? It's a day camp mm -hmm. uh, from 9 to 3. Uh, registration starts at 8 o'clock, and but we'll you have... At full, you know, activities within the uh, nine to three time slot. So, uh, do, one, do, one day. do you have to pre-register for the camp? Or? Yep, just like I said, nclaxton foundation at gmail .com. You have to have a two point five grade point average to attend the camp, and just email your report card in and register and. We'll get back with you and give you all the details. All right. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you guys did something like this in South Carolina, which is uh, your other home. 
Yes, we. Um, this is going to be our third year. We're doing that in um, in August. Uh, but yeah, we just try to we just try to give back. All from, right. From St. Thomas to Greenville. Now, now you you've been doing um, camps way back when, uh, back in our playing days, and I, I use those sentences differently. You played in the professional level, uh, but this is something that you experienced a long time ago uh, when you were a professional basketball player yourself. How much of this is your influence? How much of this is Nick? I would say it's um, 50-50 because he, he knows that I used to attend camps myself and he attended camps himself. And that it, it's, you know, you, you have a camp and you hold it for three or four hours. If you get one good thing out of the camp, you know, it's a, it's a benefit. And he knows that he's learned a lot from going to camps and me the same way you know I, I used to attend camps and you know you learn learn different things um being a camper so that's why we think it's important for us to to do that and you know who knows we might have another nick claxton in the group and you know give him some inspiration no doubt i think uh more than anything else is the inspiration that you can see that you know what, man? This guy that I see on TV is a human being just like me. He's from where I'm from. His dad is from where I'm from. This could possibly be me. I mean, that close contact makes a big difference. It, it definitely does. It definitely does. So we, we, um, we're excited about coming down and um, showing the kids a good time. Make greater learning experience for them. All right, now give me the details on how I could sign up some kids again. Uh, I think we're going to get Tim Duncan to sponsor a couple of kids coming over from St. Croix, too. So, uh... Uh, Tim is very proud of Nick, by the way. Um, back uh, on draft day, he was actually literally trying to make some phone calls uh, to get the Spurs to, to pick up Nick, which and we all wish that happened now. Well, I don't know. I can't speak for y'all, but Tim and I still feel like, gosh, damn it, we should have picked Nick Clex. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's, you never know. Free agency's coming up next year and might still be a possibility but who knows oh speak it into existence look at god i like the way you're thinking brother <laughs> <laughs> all right Charles. so give me the details on how we can sign up and register some kids all right n claxton foundation at gmail.com email your report card in and uh you'll be contacted as soon as possible and also we um we're doing a charity basketball game on the 23rd at uh Dorican High School. Okay. Um, information for that is coming out soon. And then uh, the, on the 24th is the camp. And that night we're doing a, um, a charity jump at Victor's Hideout. I'm going to uh, send you five passes that you can give away to your listeners. Okay. Um, jump. Nicholas will be coming coming there. Maybe you can um, check out some of his um, dancing moves. Oh, boy. <laughs> Third? 24th, the night 24th. of the camp. Uh, the night of the yeah. camp. All right, cool. All right, man. Um, well, looking forward to seeing you back home again, my brother. Very proud of you guys. Very proud of uh, what you've instilled in, in your young men. Um, Chase is also an extremely good basketball player. How much coaching did you do when they were coming up? Or you, you sent them to camps? Or how, how did that work out? How much of this is your responsibility, sir? I, uh, I coached Nicholas all the way to the eighth grade. Uh, I didn't coach uh, Chase. You know, eighth grade when I say um, AAU basketball. And we worked when uh, Nicholas was younger, Chase was younger, but uh, I paid trainers. Um, that wasn't really my forte. You know, the basics was my forte, but I paid trainers to train them individually to, you know, help them improve on their game. All right, well, well invested, sir. Congratulations, man. I know you're super uh, proud. And the Virgin Islands is proud of y'all too, man. Big respect, sir. Uh, thank, thank you again, Washi. You've always been a big supporter. And I appreciate the platform. And like I said, I'm going to send five passes down to you. You can uh, give away to your listeners. Uh, we're going to have a good time the whole weekend. All right, man. Go dogs. Go dogs. <laughs> VI stars. VI music. VI culture. Yep. There's an app for that. It's called Vivid Streaming. And you can download it in the app and Google Play Store.